supply chain is drastically changing. With the increase in technology, the access to data, and making that available across your end-to-end -end network, what it might look like in five years' time is very different from today. Products, workforce, industrial assets will be connected. Collaborative robots will support the operator to work in a better and a safer way. It's going to be uh, enabled through technology, through ecosystems, through people and capabilities that only we can dream of at the moment. The changes that we are seeing in the market are quite dramatic. And if organizations aren't looking for where disruption has come, they're going to be disrupted themselves. I think historically, supply chain was relegated to being a back office support function. I think as we move forward, it's not just about having a great product or service, it's about delivering a great customer experience. Customers want choice, they want personalization, they want what they want, where they want it, when they want it, and all those have implications on the supply chains. One of the key barriers to modernizing the supply chain is just understanding the digital technology landscape out there, whether that be blockchain or robotics or AI. But one of the biggest challenges our clients face is sorting through the, that noise. Not asking which technology will be uh, implemented, but uh, which set of skills and competencies the supply chain will need to allow this vision of the future. There is a huge amount of upskilling, knowledge transfer, different skills that are going to be required for supply chain professionals over the next five to ten years. An organization with a successful supply chain is well connected to its customers and using internal and external information to flow that through end to end. So it can be very proactive in the way that it manages that to meet those customer needs. The future supply chain will not be able to deliver all the competencies and capabilities itself. It will need to tap into an ecosystem of cloud providers, different technologies, understand where it can leverage those skills, where it can supplement what their core capabilities are. They're able to operate with all of their partners as one virtual organization with shared information, shared process, shared decision support. Those are the companies that are going to win.